Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. So I've got in my hand the OnePlus 5T. You guys remember this, although we haven't talked about it a ton since our review, but we're looking at it today because there's a new beta build of Oreo for it. In fact, it's beta 3, and this build in particular is worth looking at because, well, there's a new feature, and it's navigation gestures. So you'll notice down here at the bottom, I do not have navigation buttons up. That's because I'm using this new navigation gestures feature. And so that immediately brings us, of course, to, well, is this like the iPhone 10? And in a way, yeah, it is. And so it's really interesting because we've wondered since the iPhone 10 introduced a buttonless display up front with gestures in order to navigate, if Android manufacturers would sort of fall in line and maybe pick up that same idea. We think Motorola may, it looks like OnePlus is going to at least consider that idea moving forward. And so we wanted to dive in and show you what it's like to use iPhone 10 like gestures on the OnePlus 5T. So before we dive fully into this, I'll just note that you can update to this if you want to. Again, this is beta three, and if you get on the beta track, that gets you off the stable track. So once stable Oreo comes out, it may be kind of a pain to get back and you may have to wipe your phone and things like that. So just keep that in mind, but you can update to this right now if this just looks like the most interesting thing ever and you don't mind a beta build. Uh, with that said, let's just uh, let's dive in here to settings just to show you what we're working with. So about phone, this is OnePlus 5T, uh, Android 8.0 right there. Um, so you'll notice I'll swipe back to go home. So yes, that is a navigation gesture in action, but let's actually dive back into settings. And uh, if we go into buttons, you'll notice there is an option now here that says hide navigation bar. So I'll actually uncheck that just so you can see there's the traditional Android navigation bar there at the bottom. Um, but if I turn that on, that goes away and that enables swipe gestures or navigation gestures. So to use this, and the first time you do it, there's a little bit of a tutorial. Um, it's not the most in-depth tutorial, so you may have to figure some things out on your own, but this is sort of how it will work. If I wanna go home, I swipe from the bottom of the phone up, and that takes me home. You'll see there's even like a little gesture in there. So if I open up you know, Chrome and have Droid Life open and I just swipe from the bottom, that takes me home. Okay, so what about back in multitasking or app switching, I guess you should say? Well, th those work in a couple of different ways. So uh, let's say I go into this article and uh, then I wanna go back a page. If you swipe up on the left or the right side, so consider the middle swipe up would be to go home. But if I swipe over here up, that actually takes me back. So I'll show you that once again. If I swipe over here from up to bottom over on that left side, it takes me back. The same thing though works on the right side. So you kind of get to decide which way you want to go. So if I swipe over here again, it takes me back. So there's, you can do back from either side. Um, and then if I want to go home, I just swipe in the middle up from down up and that actually takes me home. Um, so app switcher though, how do you switch apps? Well, you swipe up and hold and it press and it actually brings you into your app switcher. So you could then go into say YouTube or maybe I want to go back into Chrome. And so you just kind of continue that action. So even if you're in an app, it's a swipe and hold and then it gets you into that card UI. And then if I wanna go back home, I just swipe all the way up. Let me just show you that one more time. So I'm in YouTube. Um, let's say I wanna switch back to Chrome and then I wanna go home, I just swipe and let go. So it's the hold, and you can do it from here too. It's that hold that brings up the app switcher, um, but it's just a swipe and let go if you wanna just go back home. So again, it works, um, it's interesting. You know, I tap on an article, I wanna go back, and you know, that works in just about anything. So if I'm in here and I wanna go back, same thing, back, home, whatever. It is a gesture. Uh, do I love it? I don't know if I love it yet. Uh, it will certainly take some getting used to, but it seems to make some sense. You know, I can swipe and hold. While that's not as fast as just tapping on um, an actual app switcher button, it, it works. Um, I do kind of like this idea that I can tap on something and just a quick swipe to go back. Um, and I can do that from either side rather than reaching over for the back button, even though I'm a fan of the back button over here because that's the uh, standard layout. Um, being able to uh, just kind of swipe either side, depending on which hand I have the phone in, is kind of handy. And then a swipe up home is not that big a deal. I mean, tapping a button is probably a little bit easier than a swipe gesture. But look, if we're using full screen setups like we are with this phone and every other phone, maybe a gesture UI makes some sense. I know I just sounded like I gave Apple a bunch of credit there, but gesture UIs could make some sense as long as we keep you know, that fingerprint reader on the back. I'm not ready to dive into a fingerprintless world like Apple is. I still want that on the back. But if we want to utilize that full display, this may not be a bad way to do it. So uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So jump in those comments, let me know. Do you like a gesture style navigation attempt, sort of iPhone 10 like, but that OnePlus is doing here? And again, that we think Motorola may adopt really soon with something like the Moto X5. Uh, so let us know what you think. 
Otherwise, we are Droid Life. Peace.